Well, I was minding my own business in the Himalayas and uh, simply meditating. And on the first day of spring, uh, in the backdrop there's a 26,000 foot mountain and there's a fresh water lake with a thousand varieties of butterflies. Then, at that moment, Shelley walked into my life. And she put her hands on me. <laughs> I and gave him a Jin Shin Jitsu practitioner session. And it was love at first touch. And so I just fell in love with her hands immediately. And then you led a, a song, a chant that night. He was traveling with a group of friends and I fell in love with his singing. So we've been together ever since. That was 27 years ago. And when I saw him, it was an explosion of stars. I was so in love. And what's interesting is it's 27 years later and I'm still madly in love with him. He's my best friend. And she's my best friend. Way back then I had a vision of the Temple of Peace. <laughs> And it was um, a very grandiose vision, but it really was very real to me. And it was a place where a group of people worked together in harmony, worked together free from judgment, uh, accepting each other's ways, each accepting each other's uh, differences, and learning to live together. And there was Buddhists, there was Christians, there was Jews, there was Native American Indians, Hawaiians, Mayans. They were all there in this vision that I had. By the grace of God, we were able to acquire this beautiful church. And today it is the Temple of Peace, healing sanctuary. We focus primarily on the healing arts. And I was inspired by Shelley. Uh, and the healing arts to get really into quantum healing and energy medicine. Yes, I always thought I'd be a hospital nurse. I worked in hospice, rehab, nursing homes with all ages of people, people's homes. And But I was always studying massage, hypnotherapy. I have many certifications. And then um, I'd only had a few colonics, but 11 years ago, one of my dear friends invited me to learn Cohen therapy and I had no idea how much I would love them. And I found they were shamanic colonics. And people don't realize they can have five to 20 pounds of waste accumulate in their colon. And then that moves through the whole bloodstream and the whole being can become toxic. We're a full chakra ministry. We basically start in the basement. Um, when you clean out the basement, then uh, the whole house starts smelling really sweet. And basically you know, the penthouse suite starts looking really good because more blood rushes to your brain. And as you're doing this cleansing, uh, actually serotonin is released in, in the brain. And, and in the colon. And in the colon, you have this aha experience. So I affectionately call Shelley um, the number one girl in the number two business. A lot of people enjoy coming to be with us because we're a small mom and pop organization. And we're on a beautiful island in Maui. We're 10 minutes from beautiful beaches. And there's wonderful nature. We have Haleakala Crater. So people can come and stay nearby. We have wonderful different locations where you can stay. Our mission here is love, serve, remember. And in loving and serving and remembering, we're remembering great spirit, no matter what religion. And that we have a beautiful metaphysical gift store uh, that's open and we have the spa and so it's not just the colon cleansing but we have all the different inspiration that is created here to come and work with the different practitioners the different gifts the different facilities and so we're, we're so blessed here in our lives that it's beyond the love of Shelley and Kadar it's that we've created a team here